girl. It's the Christmas season. Everyone is busy decorating their homes and getting presents ready for their loved ones, except for this poor old shoemaker. He was so poor that he could only buy a leather for one pair of shoes at a time to make shoes for his shop. I don't have enough time. I need to finish the shoes as quickly as I can so that I can sell them tomorrow morning when the shop opens. I hope to buy a gift for my wife this Christmas. But the shoemaker was too tired and fell asleep. Then a little elf came and looked in from the window. The shoemaker is so poor. I must do something for him. Oh, I see some leather. Let me make the shoes. As quick as a flash, the elf made the leather into a beautiful pair of shoes. I'm finished. The elf placed the finished shoes near the shoemaker's work desk and disappeared. <coughs> the next morning, when the shoemaker woke up, a wonderful surprise awaited him. Wow, it's a miracle! The shoes are finished, and they're so beautiful. The shoemaker managed to sell the beautiful pair of leather shoes and bought more leather with the money and it was enough for him to make another two pairs of shoes. I, I wish I could make two pairs of shoes, but I'll only have enough time to finish one pair today. Then the shoemaker fell asleep after finishing one pair of shoes, and the elf came again. There's some new leather. Let me make the shoes again. I'm always happy to help. And the next morning, when the shoemaker woke up, another wonderful surprise it's another awaited him. Now I have four pairs of shoes to sell at the shop today. Then the shoemaker sold the shoes straight away. Days passed in this way. Each day, the shoemaker bought more leather. And next morning, he found new, completed shoes. Soon, the shoemaker wasn't poor anymore. Christmas Eve came, the shoemaker closed his shop, ready to go back home to be with his wife. While on his way home, 
he saw a little girl standing on the sidewalk holding the matches in her hands. I don't need any matches today. Why don't you go home? It's cold and late. I can't, sir. My father told me not to go home until I sell the all. Sir, please buy a box. It's like will give you the most wonderful Christmas. The shoemaker started to think about the elf that helped him when he was poor. He thought it was his chance this time to bless someone as well. Poor little girl. How many matches do you have? Sir, I have 10 boxes left. Each box sells at 50 cents. Here's 10 ringgit. I'm gonna buy it all and you may keep the change. Thank you, sir. That's so kind of you. You're welcome. Now you can go back to your family. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, sir. Bless your heart. While the little match girl was walking back home, she looked at the last match on her hand and thought about what she could do with it. I would also like bless others with this match and give them the brightest and most wonderful Christmas. And so that was what she did. She saw others who needed the light, so she helped them to light up their candles to keep them warm. And the blessing continued on. must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive.